So this cabbage, cabbage patch uh, kids doll just sold. Would I recommend buying it? Probably not. It took seven months to sell. Got it last year, right around I think September, something like that, maybe October. So not as good as it used to be, but uh, and it sold for forty-five dollars with thirteen dollar shipping. Not so hot. So good morning everyone, just finished packing, just about to open up a store. Today is going to be a busy day and the reason I say that because, oh I can't reach that, because uh, I'm here just with Nick. Everybody else is off today and it's Saturday so this is going to be a challenging day. Saturdays are usually the busiest for us so uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe Saturday is not as busy for buying but it's a good day for retail, for selling. So we'll see how it goes. I just bought a couple watches of the guy, but it's funny how uh, I didn't film it, but it was funny. He comes in, says, this watch I paid $1,500 for it. And then he sells it to me for 40 bucks. He says, oh, I really don't care. I got it as a gift. And they're actually not worth that much at all. This is a Heritor, um, a diving watch. Very nice condition. It resells for 80 to 100 bucks. Uh, I paid $40 for this one. And this is a big, heavy watch. This is called uh, Chicane, Chicane, model SH4256. This is a $60 watch. I paid 25 bucks for it. Usually we don't buy these cheaper watches, but they were in very nice condition, so. That's crazy. I run over I'm gonna go film it. And these are the extra blades for it? Yep. I don't know all what else is in there. Just so he just donated everything, basically? Yeah, he didn't want any of it. Okay. Yep. Oh, that's a manual for that lawnmower. Guys, check this out. Look at this. Corded. Corded lawnmower. I never seen one. I mean, I seen small corded like snow blowers for doing your walkway or something, but this, I mean, it, it's fully functional. It does, it does work, but like seriously, you go, you go like this accidentally over that cable, you are a dead man. I mean, that cable gets in there, gets all chopped up, and I just, I, I just can't imagine dragging dragging a uh, hundred feet of cable behind me. That, this is ridiculous. Whose idea was that? Made by Craftsman. It says electric 3-1 convertible. Yeah, well, obviously that didn't work out. Huh? Craftsman, that didn't work out. Well, the whole Sears thing didn't work out lately, huh? Eh? Out of business. So he just donated to us, but uh, yeah, we probably never sell it. But then again, I say that all the time. Why did you buy this? We'll never sell it. Boom, next day sold. Crazy. I know, I know there's some of you right now. Pete, Pete, why are you bitching? You got it for free. Why are, you, why are you crying about it? It's a free item. You're gonna sell it. I get it. I get it. So this guy who donated that lawnmower also donated these. And I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to donate myself. You know, sometimes it's just the room on my shelf is more precious than putting stuff like this for a couple dollars that will never sell. Like a Black & Decker that it's 45 years old, it will not bring any money. Old router, no brand router, uh, WAN, uh, same thing, 30 years old, this will not sell here. So sometimes you just gotta move on and donate stuff. Mr. Milo. Not many people are coming to visit you today. What's going on? It's Saturday. You thought it was gonna be busy and it's not. Yeah, surprisingly, we are pretty dead here for Saturday. I mean, there's always a couple people in here, but it's not like uh, regular Saturday. Maybe because it was so busy yesterday. Yeah, no visitors. No visitors, Milo. Let's go pack some stuff. Some stuff sold on eBay at least, yeah. I'm sitting outside enjoying my lunch, eating my lunch, and this guy pulls up who has a shop uh, just down the block from us, and he pulls up and says, Pete, you want these bags? I got six more cartons. I'm like, what is it? So he opens up the box and he says, 
these are poly bags. They're like four by six clear poly bags, 15, uh, 15 mil. Uh, there's thousand bags, I guess. Six thousand, looks like it. Yeah, like a thousand. No, it can't be. There's six of them and there's only a hundred. That's six hundred. It doesn't matter. He says, six more cartons I have. Do you want them? I'm like, yeah, how much you want? He says, no, free. Some guy ordered them, never picked them up, blah, blah, blah. You can have them. I'm like, cool. So if anybody has any need for four by six, 15 mil clear poly bags, hit me up. Let's wheel and deal. So yesterday we got a bunch of, of these knives with a lot of different stuff that came in. And Daniel was like, ah, these are nothing. These are just probably a few dollars. But I'm going through this stuff and I'm finding some, uh, finding some good names. This is a, a Schrade 885UH. Although it does have a broken tip. If it was nice, if it was in, in, in a good shape, this is like an $80 knife. Now with the broken tip, this is probably gonna go into the lot. This is an old vintage Sears Craftsman. Very nice condition. This was going for like uh, $25. This is an old kind of beat up, missing a plaque here. Uh, Cass case knife XX. And this is the model 640045. This was bringing like $20, $30 if it was in nice condition. This one is M. Klein and Son, made in Chicago here. Uh, this one I looked up, it was worth about $25, $30 as well. And the rest of these I haven't looked up yet. This is the official Boy Scouts knife, it looks like a trench knife. The blade is pretty rough on it, but the handle is still in a nice condition. So we sold these here before in a shop. They usually bring about 30, 30 to 35 dollars. Oh, this is a nice knife. This is Salengen, made in Germany. Don Car Carlos. Never heard of it. Super sharp though. Weird looking blade. Nice handle. What do we got here? Another Schrade, Schrade Weldon, made in uh, USA. That's in nice condition. Milo, what are you doing? I have a camera here, Milo. You in a way now. Uh, I gotta look this up, don't know what this one is worth. This is stainless steel, some cheap china here. Milo! You just knocked my camera off. Come on. Do you have to be here? Do you have to be here? All right. Sorry, guys. So this is cheap Chinese here. This is Ulster. U-L-S-T-E-R, made in USA. Got to look that up. Looks like another Boy Scout uh, knife. This one is made by, I can't make it out. Fish knife, horrible condition. So this is probably nothing. This is, I can't even open it. Looks like they've been sitting in somebody's box forever. Oh. That hurts. That's the main blade and I can't open it. Ah, this is pretty stiff. This one is... I gotta clean it up. I can't make up. I can't see the writing. Model 3395. Primble? Primble? Cool looking knife. Old timer. Doesn't say anything on a blade. No, it does. Uh, oh, charade. New York. 
340T. Gotta look that up. Some utility knife. A wannabe letterman, letter guy. That's a couple dollars. These are some cheapies like uh, giveaway knives, you know, as a keychains. And this looks like Imperial. Oh, broken tip. Look at the front tip is broken. Yeah, Imperial. Yeah, that's their logo. So this is this is actually garbage. It's with the broken tip this little knife is worth nothing. And a sharpening stone. Well, we got few here that are worth a little bit. So one of the best sellers in our shop, knives. So mailman just brought this in. Refused return to sender. RFS. This was actually local here. I remember this box. I remember packing this. I'm not gonna show you the address. I just wanna verify it. Yeah, that's the guy. So it's just like three towns over. I don't know what happened. This is a VCR combo. Uh, DVD VCR combo Sony sold for like 80 bucks and I gotta send the guy a message I'm not gonna even open it but in less two months we had probably about three or four uh, refused return to sender I don't know what's going on and then the people message please send us the, the items back crazy pretty cool item just sold uh, sealed kinda hard to tell maybe like this uh, David Bowie, it's a new release, 2015 release LP, uh, double album, including Black Star, Lazarus, 180 grams vinyl, plus digital vinyl. Um, paid five bucks for it, sold for 35 with free shipping. Pretty cool. I like David Bowie. I miss the guy. 5.40 right now, it's Saturday, we close at 6 p.m. on Saturday, super slow day, barely any buys today, we bought one, two, three, four, five, six things today, nothing to brag about, horrible sales as well, so I haven't seen a Saturday like that in a very long time, I don't know, I don't know if it was because yesterday was so busy and today we had a kind of crappy weather, lots of thunderstorms that people stayed home, I don't know but uh, it is what it is time to close the... and thanks for watching guys appreciate it tomorrow Sunday I don't know if I'm gonna record anything for Sunday we'll see uh, maybe I'll do something like totally different maybe do a live show something we'll see so anyway thank you very much for watching till next time cheers